It was a game changer. Everyone knew. Everyone knew that CAD on Windows was going to be big. So I'm old enough to remember when they were workstations, Unix, client server, CAD tools. So the CAD was actually running from CPUs on the server. Right, brought onto the workstation. So suddenly the affordability and accessibility to do CAD on something like this was suddenly, well, not even on a Windows computer, which before that was mainframe, uh, was uh, was amazing. It was a lot of fun back then, uh, going around and demoing this, especially to those who never saw something so powerful and easy to use so the, the excitement level you saw and you know when you demo in front of a bunch of people was just fun having it in a windows environment putting it on everybody's laptop to be able to do things you know to be able to take your cat on the road and do things was quite revolutionary at the time i mean to tell you frankly back then it was uh, the best among what was out there and you know it's like anything else evolution you know everything takes time at the time this does not exist so so if you were trying to go from what you used to do to what SolidWorks at that time let you do was was pretty awesome. Of course, looking in hindsight, it looks like, well, it's clunky compared to, you know, what we have today. The product itself has evolved a long way, but the company's evolved too. I mean, we have other tools. We're not just SolidWorks anymore, right? We've got the 3D experience on the platform. Over the past 30 years of SolidWorks being in existence, it's really been a tool that has been able to spread itself out throughout the design industry. If you say SolidWorks, people know what that is. Some of these other CAD systems, they're like, what, I've never heard of that one. Or this one, I've never heard of that one. And it's been the gold standard for me. What we're doing now is we're tapping into the larger 3D experience portfolio now. And so it's limitless now. In the next 30 years, I see SolidWorks continuing to be a leader in CAD. I think I'm excited to see where CAD goes in the next, I wouldn't say 30, in the next four, four or five years. I think AI will play a big part. We've had 30 years and then hope you have 30 more. I think SolidWorks gives uh, shape to everything you can imagine and the imagination is just is is becoming you know i mean a lot of people always talk about ai and then will ai take over and everything and i think you can't beat human imagination uh, and ai is coming close but i don't think it's going to replace that imagination in that sense so i'm very excited what the combination of the two human imagination ai and then, of course, for solid work, giving shape to all of that. Trust me and say we're, we're here for the long haul and we, we have not changed our, our foundation of who we are. 30 years of excellence, 30 years of a track record, 30 years of growth, 30 years of some really great customers. So for me, it's a career in CAD, but at the same time, it's, it's a lot of friendships. I mean, it's not just the software for me. It's a lot of lifetime, lifetime friendships that will probably never go away. I mean, for me personally, SolidWorks is what made me want to be an engineer. It's it's really important to me. I care about it a lot. SolidWorks is what taught me that I can do the fancy art stuff and merge it with the physics, and that's called engineering. That's what design is. Kind of in a day and age where software pops in and out of our lives every day. Something we used two years ago we don't even touch today. It's... Uh, uh, software is more ephemeral now than it ever has been. But to have something that's relevant 30 years later is pretty cool. And it's, it's an honor to be a part of it. 